Good morning and congratulations. If you clicked on this video, it's because you are about to go on an adventure and you want to make sure you get the most out of recording that with your mobile device. And you are in luck. My name is Stanley Orchard and I do an amazingly decent and not at all terrible family fishing channel here on YouTube. And I do it all with my cell phone. Over the years, I have been through a ton of different ways trying to protect my cell phone and make sure that I don't destroy it. Today, I'm going to show you my top five favorite waterproof cases that I use for my cell phone in order to capture those shots. Please consider subscribing. Obviously, that helps out our channel a lot, but also gives me an opportunity to help you get the best shot that you can out of the equipment that we're about to talk about now. Also, I will have links to every single one of these products available in the description of this video down below to point you towards the places where I bought all of these products so that we can get you the best price available. I guarantee you do not want to be buying these products from a gift store. If you're going out on vacation or something, you're going to pay like 10 times as much. Don't do it. Get them from the links below. They are affiliate links, so I do receive a commission, but it comes at no additional cost to you and you're going to end up saving money doing it. We're gonna be talking about five very different products today. I wanna to make sure that not only am I showing you the best products available, I wanna show you products that are kind of specific to certain needs that you may have. Some of them are gonna be more expensive than others. Some of them are gonna be higher quality than others. They all have their pros and they all have their cons and I'm gonna cover all of that for you right now. Now starting at number five, we have the cheapest uh, available product out there. If you're just going to the beach, you wanna get some family shots, you wanna make sure your phone doesn't get destroyed in the process, that would be one of these guys. I've used them several times in my entire series of videos that we first did in Cozumel. This is what I used. The price is obviously very economical and fairly waterproof. I've taken these things down to about 25 feet to use them. Now they do have their flaws. That plastic right there, it doesn't work so great for getting a really good shot. It is gonna warp it just a little bit from time to time. Not my favorite when it comes to like getting a really clear shot. The biggest problem with these things is they are absolutely impossible to use underwater. Like you're not gonna be able to go through your touchscreen menus and stuff like that. What happens is the water puts pressure on that thing which causes the screen to get touched the entire time you're underwater. So expect your zoom lens to be doing this the entire time you're sitting there filming. There is a trick, you can take a pack of sugar and put it in between your touch screen and the plastic on this so the plastic does not touch your screen. Obviously, in order to use that, you're gonna have to set your phone on either camera mode or video mode. You don't get to change around between them and you're gonna have to use the volume keys as a means of turning your camera on and off. Number four on our list of best waterproof cases for your mobile device is gonna be these hard cases. There are a ton of uh, options available on this. This is actually the regular cell phone case that I use on my phone. I've got it on my phone that I'm recording with right now. That's my daily driver. The great thing about these cases is that they have this glass lens that goes over your camera. You get a much better shot than what you get with that other one where it's all warped and bendy. This is glass. You're gonna get a much better shot on there. Problem with that is as you can see, I go through a lot of these cases. So I do a whole lot of filming out at the beach and fishing and I am notorious for destroying things. I also wanna get like the absolute best shot that I can get at all times. So I'm always scratching these things and I replace them once a year, twice a year, whatever it takes. Like I get one scratch on that lens, I'm gonna go and replace it again. One of the great things about these cases is that you can put them inside this case. You wanna make sure that your phone is super protected, put them in both. Just get a little bit bigger one of these to fit your phone with the case because they don't necessarily fit very well. They're kind of snug sometimes. Because I want to take care of my equipment, I do not want to be taking my phone outside of the case so that I can put it into a different case specifically for being at the beach. One of the reasons why I really do like these cases is I can just use it. I can get it wet. I'm not going to worry about it too much. When I really want to get a really good shot, I want to go super deep, some specialty shot that I'm trying to get, it can be a real pain trying to fit a phone with a bulky cover into another case to get that really good shot plus multiple glass and stuff like that. It can be a bit of a pain. This thing is still my daily driver. All right, are you ready for one of the more uh, strange and weird options out there? I might have been a little overzealous in purchasing this, but I'm gonna bring it out there because there is some pretty good uses for this. If you are serious, maybe you're going to Cozumel, you can do some scuba diving, you're concerned about using your phone with a $25 case on it in order to get the shot that you want, those first two options are not what you're gonna to wanna to be looking at. Dive Folk Sea Touch Cases, and this is for real. That is a seriously waterproof case 
Uh, you can take this thing down, I believe, up to like 100 feet. I'll have all the specs on the screen there for you. I don't know. But you can take it super deep. I have not used this just yet because I don't do a lot of scuba diving. So I cannot speak towards how well the touchscreen functions are and, you know, what kind of shots you have. I, I can't speak to any. I can tell you that, you know, having felt it right now and seeing how they put this whole thing together, I'm pretty stoked about using it. But if you are going scuba diving and you have $150 to spend on protecting your device underwater, this is an option that is going to work just fine for you. Strange side note on this, uh, this thing is universal, but in order for it to be universal, you have to have like these inserts that your phone fits into. Uh, kind of strange, but you know, I get it. That's how the whole thing works. It's still cool that it is a universal device. It's Q-Link or Q-Charge whatever compatible. So you can actually put your phone in this and you know, put it on the charger to charge. I thought that was kind of a neat option for it, honestly, because normally with a case like this, you wouldn't be able to do that. Props to a dive folk for a, you know, a pretty solid product. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. This would have been my go-to if it wasn't for this next option. This next camera case is uh, the whole reason that I decided to film this video in the first place. After I got the dive folk, I realized that it had some limitations and it had some things that was not going to allow me to really get the shots that I wanted to get in order to improve the quality of the footage that we get for our upcoming fifth season of uh, family fishing content here on YouTube. I went ahead and got me a G-Dome case. Now this thing is, it's got a lot of awesome packed in it. Still universal, really awesome in that it has like a touch screen thing that is intended for going down deep. This one, you can fit your camera with the case into this guy and the touch screen compatible thing actually works. Now, I haven't used this yet, so I cannot speak to that. Like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel, check out the footage that I get. You'll hear me talk all about it. You'll see the cool shots and stuff that I get. The really cool thing about this guy, that dome lens, it provides separation in between your camera and the environment. That's how you get these really cool shots where you can see the water line fluctuating. You can see what's above the water and under the water. It's a really clear shot. I absolutely love this thing and I'm super tickled about it. And so when I got it, I went all in and got the premier package thing or whatever that comes with all the additional toy stuff that you can get. This is an upgraded model specifically for scuba diving. And so they had some issues, I guess, or whatever with scuba divers that had gloves on that weren't able to hold onto it very well. So the newer model, which is this one, comes with this handle, which is cool so they can hold it twice. But unfortunately, for some reason, they decided not to attach it. <laughs> I'm not going to trust myself to rupture that seal just so that I can get another handle on here for my shot. That makes me super nervous. I was not very uh, tickled about that. And now that brings us to what I really consider to be the number one option in keeping your phone safe when you want to be doing some recording at the beach, your fishing trip, on your adventure that you're about to go on. Hear me out because this is an intriguing option and one that I have really enjoyed the past couple of years. Get yourself a 360 camera. No, 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 hold on just a second. Before you click away, let me explain. Got myself a cheap one. This is a Rylo. Now, don't go super cheap. Actually, Rylo is super cheap. I think you can get these things for like $250 probably $300 with a waterproof case like that. The benefits of using one of these is that if you are doing something that's really action oriented. For example, if you're gonna be snorkeling, if you're underwater, you're gonna be moving around a lot, right? Like it ruins your shot when you're sitting there trying to get it and you're doing this number and you're rocking in the wave. You don't get focused on anything. I got this 360 camera and it comes with like this super stabilization thing. So it really like holds your shot steady. But also it allows you to capture everything. You don't have to be pointing the camera at anything at all. You just sit there and hold it and it records everything and you get to be in the shot. Something that is not as uh, easily accomplished using your cell phone. I can plug the 360 camera into my phone and I get to sit there and edit the shot and make it exactly the shot that I want or take photos off of the video that was recorded. The shots come out looking really, really good. They're pretty clean. The quality, I'll be honest, is not as good as what I get with my phone. Quality on my phone doesn't really matter if it's all shaky and stuff like that. Also, it's like a little pro tip, like side bonus on those 360 things. You can take your phone when you're looking at it and like look around and you're looking around at all the different shots that you, you know, recorded. You can even upload those like straight to YouTube to show your friends and family. It's really easy. I do it all the time. In fact, I have an entire playlist of those 360 videos that I do. You can check those out. If you want to see the quality of a Rilo camera. 
If you'd like to check that out, there is a link to our Season 5 videos coming up this year. I've got that right there. Save that, check it out, and uh, join us along the way. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to catching you in our next adventure. Let me know when you do yours, because I'd like to check out yours as well.